Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Locum23, here. You are joining me for Choices, the stories you play, Rules of Engagement, Book 1, Chapter 12, <laughs> New Heights. <laughs> Long title. Anyway, it's really shoving that down. Now playing as Nicole, you and Andre meet up on the deck. I can't believe you actually left your room to enjoy the sunshine! Well, I hate to be predictable. Besides, I finally turned into my tech assessment last night, so I'm free as a bird. Today's going to be all about tackling Nana's adventures. You point to a poster propped up on the table announcing a cruise-organized hike to a nearby summit. The ship just docked near the mountain, and Nana wanted me to climb to the top of one. It's perfect. So how about it? Want to go on an epic hike with me? Hang on. You're actually asking me to do something crazy with you? Uh, isn't this right up your alley? Well, yeah, but it usually isn't your thing. What do you want? Why do you want me there? Um, because it'll be an adventure. We get to spend more time together. Hmm. So I can tell that she kind of goes that way versus her other two sisters. Eh. Oh, yeah? What makes you think I want to do that? You're teasing me, aren't you? Guilty! I guess some um, one-on-one -on -one time with you wouldn't be so bad. We won't be the only two people there. Well, we're the only two people who matter, and trust me, I'm definitely going to get you on to the top of that mountain. We should make a pact! As in a blood pact? As in a promise, a treaty among adventurers. No matter how tired we get, we stick together. Audrey clears her throat and takes her hands. We solemnly swear. We solemnly swear to reach the top of this mountain today with each other. To reach the top of this mountain today with each other. Don't we have to come back down, too? Uh, that was implied. Oh, sh sure it was. Audrey, let's go of your hands. There. Now it's set in stone. Perfect. Let's go sign up. It says to me by the pool. Wait. Who's leading this trip? You see a small crowd forming around a crew member. Isn't he the guy that chased you from salsa class? Okay, Girl Scouts, we leave for the hike in a half an hour. Keep up! And don't forget your bird binoculars! They're hoping he doesn't recognize me! Maybe you should try changing your shirt. You walk up to Chaz. Hi, we'd like to join the hike. Excellent choice! Chaz, Chase passes you two forms. Just fill out these, and give them back to me before... He trails off as he looks at Audrey, his eyes narrowing. You look familiar. Have we met before? You probably met me uh, at bird meetup. Yeah, I love birds. Ah, fellow aerial animal lover. Today, we have an excellent forecast of a red back shrikes and at least 116 species of butterflies. Yay, a nature! Chaz walks up halfly to talk to other hikers. Phew. That was close. So, are you ready to go? Yeah, let's climb this mountain. At the dock, the hikers pile into a shuttle van that can take them up to the mountain. You and Audrey grab seats near the front. Thanks for hanging out with me today. The list feels way more feasible when we're together. Anything to help you out. We've pretty much wound up about this uh, internment ship. Yeah, it's hard not to be nervous. I really want this internment ship. I don't know what I'm going to do if I don't get it. I'm sure it'll be better than you think. Are you usually this anxious about everything? I mean, there's a lot to be concerned about in life. Really? 
Like what? I'm afraid of failure, death, spiders, failure. I've always set high goals for myself. I already have a list of what I can accomplish for my five-year plan. Now I have an additional list from Nana. It feels like more pressure. Hey, what she gave you is different. Having fun, trying new things, letting loose. It's not about winning or succeeding. I guess you're right. The shuttle arrives near a hiking trail and everyone exits. Keep close, everyone. I wouldn't want you to miss out on sighting of a honey buzzard or a short-toed snake eagle. Words that I think I've pretty mi made up. The <laughs> crew starts heading up the trail. So, have you ever climbed a mountain before? Well, I haven't climbed up one, but I have bungeed off one before. What's the point of heading the same direction as everyone else? seem so brave. I was wondering, what are you afraid of? How did you get so fearless? How did you get so fearless? Honestly, I lost someone's friendship once? Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Nah, it's okay. I lost control at a party once in high school. I completely blacked out. I don't remember anything that happened the rest of the night, but apparently it was bad really bad. But Monday, my friends had all turned against me. I was pretty much ostracized by every clique under until graduation. But there was one friend in particular that I really didn't want to lose. Was she special to you? Yeah. Anyway, I, I learned something. Well, aside from the fact that it's drinking the mystery punch that will always get you. What's left to lose when you lose something important? Uh, what's left to be afraid of, you know? I'm so sorry. I lost someone once too, but I feel like it just made me more cautious and careful. That never happened to you? No, I mean, that's just it. Who cares what happens to me, you know? I care. You in the back, keep up! After half an hour of trudging uphill. Okay, Girl Scouts, we'll take our lunch break up ahead. The rest of the group goes ahead while you and Audrey lag behind. It's beautiful here. Definitely! Aren't you glad we came? You know, I'd like to thank you somehow for coming with. Is there anything you want? Audrey grins mischiefully. Well, I've never spontaneously gone skimming and dipping in a lake. Does this mean you've done it unspontaneously? Audrey starts heading closer to the water, pulling off articles of clothing and dropping them on the ground behind her. Here I go! Audrey stands on a rock, cannonballs in the lake, splashing water everywhere. She resurfaces and grins. Don't make me do all this by myself. Come and join me. Should I jump in the lake with Audrey? Sorry, I can't. I should probably just stick to the trail. Yeah, I guess so. No problem. See you soon. You watch as Audrey swims away. It's actually a really good picture. In nice clear water. Later, back of the group, you and Audrey relax on the grass during a water break. I can't believe we almost made it. We can see the top from here. Take a photo of it. Okay, okay. You reach in your near bag to take out your phone when you realize you have an unread email. It's the Mansing internship. They want to have a follow-up call later today. That's great. How soon is the call? You keep reading. Oh, no, in 45 minutes. Your phone screen blacks out. And my phone just died. I didn't bring mine. I brought my charger, but it's no use out here. I need to run back into town and find an outlet somewhere. Wait. Right now? But we're almost at the top. What about the our pact? 
I'm sorry, but this call is really important. I'll try to catch up to you later. You run downhill in the opposite direction, cutting off Audrey's response. Hey! They're separating from the group! I have to hurry! You see a large boulder up ahead. What do I do? Jump over it? Go to the side. Go to the side? You smoothly maneuver to the side and continue running. You barrel down the mountain back the way you came as fast as you can. I hope I make it in time! Yeah, jump over the boulder. Finally, you run into town, huffing and puffing. I have to find a cafe with an outlet. You round the corner. I should run the supermarket run the fully the express sign. Yes, that's it! You follow the red neon sign down the street. You see a cafe, and you're only a couple feet away when you run into the cafe. Run to the cafe. Almost there. You triumphantly run to the cafe. You finally enter the cafe, quickly plug your phone into an outlet to charge. The phone powers up, and you see that you are five minutes early for your interview. Yes! Your phone rings, and you take a deep breath. Whew. Here it goes. You answer the call. Hello? What will happen when the Cole's important job interview? And how will Audrey react to her sudden departure? Check out the next chapter to find out. And wow, is this short? Holy moly, this was short. So, if you guys did enjoy, um, so just to update you guys, currently, right now, we are updating the uh, freshman book two. That is come to conclusion, folks. Um, it was the season finale, and if you're screaming in the background, it's my little autistic brother. Um, <laughs> he's cute, though. I swear, I promise. <laughs> no, um, so we've caught up on Rules of Engagement. I don't know how many more chapters. The new book is not out. Crown of Flame 2, we got to wait for the key. Um, and nothing new. I'm assuming that most likely in the next week or two, they'll release something to take the place of Freshman Book 2, which I have to say, if you haven't checked it out yet, it was very emotional, uh, for me at least. Um, very difficult book to get through. Very, 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 very difficult book to get through. Um, but I got through it nonetheless. Um, probably one of the longest in the series that I've ever done, because there was a lot that they mashed up. I feel that it could have been longer. Um, I really feel that it could have been... I, I feel that they could have went to Chapter 16 and and cut halfway through it, kind of like how short this um, Rules of Engagement was. I mean, 12 minutes was really short. Um, versus the finale for Freshman Book 2 was 40 minutes. Though some of it was also because of difficulty of trying to get through and and trying not to cut the video and and, you know, trying to give the whole experience all in one sitting. So, um, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, feel free to look for uh, Crown of the Flame Book 2. Also, check out The Freshman if you haven't. And, um, feel free to like, comment, share. And if you're not already subscribed, you should do so, because you'll miss out on great content updates and, who knows, maybe a surprise in the future? Until next time, folks. Hope you have a good one. Peace.